Hello guys and welcome back to another Toy Command video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to rewire this iron core induct. So this is the plastic core we're going to wrap our wire around and our wire is 5 meters 350. And this is our wire we're going to use 0.8 mil silver filled copper. And we've got two sprays there, one to clean the wire and the enamel spray to insulate it. Okay, we also need a meter stick to... Um, to measure the wire out. Now this is a great way of improving your crossover by doing this because this 10% silver filled copper is great quality, far better than what was on that inductor. And I know iron cores are not the best, but this is really going to improve this iron core and take it to a whole new level. And uh, as I say, Three, uh, five meters, 350 millimeters is the length I need. So I've unwinded the old one and just copied the wire. So I've cut it to length now. I'm just winding it up for the minute. And then we're going to be insulating it with our enamel spray. Now we're going to give three coats of enamel spray. And obviously, off camera, I'm going to make sure that it's all covered extremely well. So now this is my jig that I use for polishing wire. So all I've done is I've pushed it through. I'm going to be pushing the wire through the jig. But first of all, we're going to be cleaning the wire with some electrical cleaner, which is similar to isopropyl alcohol, um, just to make sure that there's no grease or anything on there that's con going to contaminate it when it comes to the spraying process because we want it to go through really well and, and the paint to attach to it so it's very easy you're going to need a mask if you're spraying because uh, and this is the spray we're using okay this is a clear enamel spray and as you can see we're putting we're going to be giving three coats to it. Always shake the can extremely well before starting. And there we go, I'm spraying the wire. I'm going to spray both sides and it'll be going underneath because I'm piling it on fairly heavy. <clears throat> it may drip on the underneath slightly, but you won't see that. It will just dry in neatly. Um, there we go. As I say, always wear a mask when you're spraying any cellulose-based or chemical paints because uh, seriously bad for your health if you breathe this stuff in. I always tend to do it outside. It's so much easier. So, um, there we go, another coat. <clears throat> Evenly spray it, make sure you're coating it well. So this is coming up to our final coat. Oh, we're pulling it through, sorry now, and we're um, we're starting to spray it again. We're just going to build up loads of coats on it, and then um, then once it's done, we'll start our winding process. After we've left it to dry for a few days, I never like rushing these jobs. I always like it to um, to last for a few days. There we go, this is another coat going on now. I know some of you may think I'm nuts, but I'm not joking, this is a very good way of producing So the it. wire's been left to dry now after three coats of enamel spray. And this is the former with the iron core in the center. Okay, it's just like several layers of metal. 
and we're going to be winding it the same as this now this is the size of the woofer section which is five meters 350 exactly the same as what was on there before and it's exactly the same gauge wire but i've swapped it for 10 percent silver filled copper so it's got 10 percent of pure silver around the copper and this is going to really improve the sound quality of the inductor although i wouldn't really recommend these um these iron core inductors the the air core are better but for this and the space we've got we're going with this but it's still going to be a big improvement on what there was here before this one so let's get this camera on the tripod and i'll start showing you how to wind it so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get it exactly the same as they've done it because uh although i'm gonna use a different circuit board hopefully i'm gonna make one up um which is going to be point to point wiring so let's put get we'll leave that there so we can sort of see how that is but now what we need to do is to start at one end here with this wire okay then what we're going to do after we've wound it we're going to then we're going to then lacquer it again okay so what we want to do first is we want to put it round here okay or actually we're going to start at the other end down there because that is the way they've started so this end down here so we want to put that down there first and then we want to gradually just start winding this now we want to make it as neat as possible we don't really want it to be all bodgy we want it to go round and be very tight there it's difficult to do this on camera there but I'm going to show you part of it and then once I've I've got quite a bit done I shall come back and show you now because we've already insulated this wire don't worry about your fingers touching it um, we're going to then as I say lacquer it again heavily just to keep all of the wire in place it'll just neaten it up a bit so all we're doing is just wrapping it around now we already know that the wire is the right length so it should in theory match this one identical by the time we get to that the end of it so it should come up to about there the second layer or the third layer i think it's about the third it could be the fourth layer actually so when we go up there just just push it up with your fingers a bit like so um We'll just keep going around. Right, I'm going to carry on with this till the end and then I'll show you how to come back on yourself. So we're coming towards the end now. We just keep pushing it round like so. You want to make sure you keep it all nice and. So we're gradually, as we get to the end here, it's gradually going to overlap and start coming back on itself. Now it's just about doing it now. All right, difficult to show you on this camera how to do this filming it, but but then we just have to carry on round. We want to make it look really neat. We don't want it messy. I'll do a little bit more, and then I'll carry on and get to the end of it, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. That's going in lovely that is it's looking very smart indeed you want to make sure on. so i'm winding a little bit there all right keep going right i'll carry on i'll be back shortly so we're getting to the end of the third layer now and we want to just twist that round and start coming back on ourselves again very difficult to see this on the camera you want to keep the tension fairly tight as we wrap round now my stickler for making sure things look neat as well as as well as sounding neat I always like to do a really nice professional job of everything I do there we go you can just push it up with your fingers like that just to to make sure that it all goes up well 
and you've got to keep tension on her as it wants to unravel. So I shall crack on and then I will come back at the end once I've finished it just to show you how to uh, come back through the coil there. I've finished the winding now. It is slightly different, although it is exactly the same length. So all I've got to do now is I'm going to cover it now in spray. So I'm going to do that now. So what we're going to do is we're using this enamel spray like I showed you before. We're just going to give it a good old blast there. Pile the lacquer on there. Turn it round. What this will do is it'll just help to seal it all in place. To hold it in place well. So we'll give that about three coats. Then I'll show you what it looks like after. So I've now finished the inductor as you can see it still isn't quite as neat as the way they done it theirs is probably done on a machine and mine's done by hand but i can assure you it's the same length using a far better quality wire so uh i hope you like this build uh all these things are difficult when you're doing them by hand they're not as easy as what happens when you uh when you have done things done on a machine in a factory but you can still get a really good finish so i think it's that's it for this video so thanks for watching another tweaker man video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time i upload a new video and thank you for watching guys